Hello everyone, welcome to my mother's studio. Are we even going? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Wait. That's awkward. Yep. No. Hi. You can welcome everybody. Welcome to the studio. Welcome. Let's say hi to Grandpa. He's right here. Well, maybe. <laughs> so now people are logging in. So Mickey, you might want to ask them where they're from. Hi. Okay. Okay, hold on. We're coming to you from sunny California. There you go. Oh, look, you're on. You I'm made, on. You made we're coming. It. We're coming to you from <laughs> sunny California. You made it. I, I do. Hi. Hello, everyone. Now you're going to start saying, Would you okay. like to say hi, Mom? Yes, I will. Hi, everybody. Okay, I'm just training them. Yeah, I need a Okay, lot. people are logging in right here. Denise just said, hi, Mick. There's Donna. Glue Dad. There's Judy. So here we can say hi. Hello. You guys are live in my studio, and I have lots of guests. Hold on. I'm trying to tune this in so my mom can go watch it. Um, oh, look at that. And I need a lot of training. You're going to you're gonna need some help. Okay, here we go. There we go. Whoops. All right. So, hi, everybody. Get a, a nice beverage. This is my daughter, Michaela, and this is her grandpa. And he is Hello. the star of the hour. And no. I'm going to introduce... It's wine look at, look at Dad. See, you've got friends checking in. There's your buddy, Wes. Oh, hey, Wes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to introduce Grandma, who's coming in. This is my mom, Joe. <laughs> mom, don't trip over me. Come on. you got to <sighs> fit in. Okay. There you go. You're all in my studio. Hi. We're just missing Joey and my oldest, but they're working. So so Mickey decided to join us for a couple of minutes. She Hi, wants everybody. in on the questions. <laughs> do you want me to take over, or do you want to stay here? I don't know. Okay. The pressure's on. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I can hardly take it myself. <laughs> Merry you, Christmas. I need a break. I, I'm, I, you I'm can overwhelmed the, with the, the fame. With the limelight. Mickey, will you do? Um, oh, there we go. Whoops. Oh, there we go. There's the Bye. video. You can take this. Mom, you can take this out and okay. turn the video Bye-bye. Well, wait. You can stay there oh. for a minute. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, yes, you are a lot. Oh, my daughter's got a hot seat. Oh, you know okay. what? I hope you're... I hope your audience, you know, all your people that log in, doesn't tumble <laughs> as a result. Of yeah, this. you guys. So, oh, mom, you're amazing. Love your top. Look oh, at that. Oh, thank you. Look at my mom's going to stand here for just the fashion stuff. <laughs> so, you guys are live. This is my mom, Joe, and my dad, Jerry. And um, Denise just said, I have so many questions, but probably not appropriate for Facebook. No, anything goes. Let Denise, it rip. <laughs> Denise. <laughs> so um, we're looking there, but Dad, I'll read the comments so you don't. Yeah. Hey, mom, when you have a chance, could you go see if my glasses are like right. in my bedroom? Do you want me to go right now? Yeah. Okay. So my mom is going to watch um, the video. Um, oh, Here. my mom is going to watch the video on my iPad in. Um, I'm going to move this and over And what did you want? Your glasses. My glasses, if you can find them. If you All can't right, find them, I will just... Goodbye. All right, so we have a couple of minutes, and people um, are logging in, Dad. Okay. And so tonight, if you're just joining us, um, we are both we both have beverages, and then we have mm -hmm. backup beverages. Mm-hmm. Okay. I need so, a lot of those. Yeah, so my dad is going to be interviewing <laughs> me. And we're going to be just talking, so you don't even have, you just pretend like nobody's here, and just pretend like everybody's wearing their underwear. Oh, is that, is that the secret? <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, Wes, I hang, like your shorts. Hang tight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to need these every now and again just to see the um, questions. But it's just going to be super um, casual. Now, for those of you um, who are tuning in, <clears throat> Donna is here as our moderator, which is helpful to me because um, if I miss anything or you do have questions for either one of us, um, and then I'll just pinch my dad underneath if he's not supposed to say something. So if you feel a pinch, it means you're not supposed to say that. I won't say Okay. Anything. I'm kidding. He actually has been working on the questions. 
I, I gave him a couple of options to like, if you don't want to, you know, you don't want to read the questions or you do want to read the questions. And he really worked on them. And so people are saying, hi, mom and dad, you guys look wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Wes just, thank Wes you. just said, thanks, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> so my parents have been here since Thursday. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. And um, we had the honor honor of having my cousin in for the weekend. So we have been going nonstop. We have not stopped. And then tonight came upon us and I Oh, somebody said I have no sound. I have sound on my end and I can see it. So if you can give thumbs up, if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Do we sound good? Do we look good? I have the, um, I have the filter on, Dad, that makes you look 10 years younger. Oh, that, I need that. Mm -hmm. I need and it, it puts 10 more pounds on you. Oh, well. Do you remember, I've Andy? already put 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, we kind of were doing a special night because Wednesday night is Christmas and we're going to be with our family. In fact, when we're done here, we are going to go play games with the family. I give, and we're getting hearts and thumbs up, so that means good stuff. And obviously, this will be replayable uh, if we don't do anything embarrassing. And uh, my dad is drinking from it. Okay, my dad, well, my dad is it drinking. It's a re re refill. Yeah. Okay, so they got sound. They're good. It's 532. What I would like to do is so that I, coin, I can tell my dad who is here is for you to introduce yourself and where you are listening or viewing us from. And remember Andy Watson from Indiana? Oh, She's yeah. here. Say hi. Wow. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. Donna, Donna uh, said you're looking good, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Keep those going, ladies. Got his, he's got his Christmas sweater on. Yeah. He got his makeup on. Oh, yeah, right. He got his number two haircut. They were on sale. I bought two of them. <laughs> you can tell. My, my wife called me Baldy when I came home. So, and the format tonight is, my dad came up with, I think, 11 questions, which now I've seen. I haven't studied for them, but they're really good, and you're welcome to ask questions. Donna is from Fort Worth. Kim is just said hello. Donna said hi from Miami. I love this. Uh, I know we have Andy. Uh, let's see. I know we have Denise Lamborn from down the street. Okay. We have Wes and Dina from the other side of the street. Okay. Chris from Illinois. Hi, Christina. Uh, we have um, Mary, Mary Ella from New Jersey, Patricia from Maryland. Look at this, Dad. You're going by coastal We should have uh, had you bring your guitar. We could have done like a Johnny Cash number together. Oh, yeah, we could have. Dad plays guitar. Yeah, um, Sharon from Missouri, and he, she said, glad to see you two again. Glad to see you're upright, Dad. No, she didn't say that. Tyler looks just like my dad. He does. Tyler, my oldest, does look just like my dad. He's built exactly like my dad. Maria is from the UK, which means it's probably about wow. 1 o'clock in the morning there, I'm Man. guessing. Hi, Maria. Wonderful. Yeah. And Judy is um, at her son's house. She doesn't want to disclose that location. No, I'm kidding. Virginia. Oh, my goodness. Kansas. Okay. So, uh, if we miss anything, uh, hello, I know Linda is in California. Bring the music next time, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's Sue noise. Sue and uh, from, oh, Merry Christmas, Sue. I love it. I love it when I got my locals here. Roxanne is here. Okay. So, if you're just listening or tuning in for the first time, or you're um, looking for a pole dancing show, we're not going to do that tonight. But if he keeps hitting that wine... You never know. Do you need a refill before we begin? Uh, I, I, I think okay. I, I'm going to. Okay. So it's, we're... you know, parched. Well, I don't even know if I'm pouring you the same stuff. So right now you have, a re you have a blend. I went easy on you. I don't think it's going to matter. Okay. So grab a um, beverage of your choice. And um, we thank you for joining us. I'm kind of excited about this because, I don't know, my dad worked so hard too on it. So thank you for agreeing to do this. Now, wouldn't it be funny if I said, I, you know what? I was joking. These questions are not for me. All the questions are for you. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I think I would. <laughs> it's the big one. I'm having the big 
one. I'm coming to you, Edith. Or what's that? Okay. I shouldn't do my Stanford and Son. Um, all right, Dad. So um, I'm going to let my dad take this away. Uh, okay. Being the firstborn, uh, what, if any, effect did that have on you? Well, first off, you got it right the first time. I was going to say... I don't know what you were thinking that second go-round, but... <laughs> um... wait, a, wait a second. <laughs> let me make something perfectly clear. First You're talking of all, into there. Let me make something perfectly clear. Uh, your brother and you are very competitive. Okay. No. And and you're always uh, saying who's the favorite. Well, I got it. I'm going to make it perfectly clear to everyone. You're my favorite daughter, and Tim's my favorite son. <laughs> is that is that clear? Sandra, okay. I know you have to say that, Dad. It's fine, and we can admit. I mean, I got three kids. Every once in a while, you do have a favorite. Well, I'm not going there. <laughs> I I'm not. We're, hey, I'm not committing myself. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the Sanford and Son, I was corrected. It's Elizabeth. I'm going, you know, okay. Elizabeth, I'm coming to see you. Okay. Um, thank you, Sue. I, I, I'm I, not that old. <laughs> okay. Um, so being the firstborn, I will say that, yes, um, I do find myself being more of, I don't want to say controlling, but I would say more um, taking care of business. The leader. Yeah, I don't want to. Um, my brother and I are extremely different. I fold and put my socks away. <laughs> and I can tell you where his goes. <laughs> and uh, what in the drawer. <laughs> generally, I, I would say definitely, I kind of did have a philosophy of lead by example. My brother did follow in my footsteps and went to my same school. Um, I also do find that when I'm with him, and it's probably a problem, I'm more of a parent than I am a sibling and maybe a little bossy, but don't you dare tell him I said that because... He may be watching. He might be watching. Yeah. But I would definitely say that it's probably impacted my life because I always feel like I got to do good, do right, be better. And we are a very competitive family, and that was witnessed... Um, my cousin was here. My cousin is my only female cousin on my mom's side, and she was the baby of the family, came last. So I had all boys growing up in my life. And um, so she came here and was with the family, and I, like we were comparing who was taller, who had better hair, who had this. And we, you know, we're like, Aunt Jo, Uncle Jerry. And I said to my cousin, you know, everything isn't a competition, but everything in our family is a competition. We could eat oatmeal and somehow make it a competition. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait. Oh, uh, Donna just asked, which kid uses power tools best? Wow. Uh, I, I would have to say uh, Tim, only because... Uh, that's he's, a surprise. He's really, really, and for the life of me, I don't understand how he, how he kind of picked up my skills. Never went out into my dad's workshop. He, he never would, watched you. He would come in and say, I need this, and, I need and that. walk away. Mm -hmm. and, and I only picked up bits and pieces. And but I, I must say, though, you're, you're very, uh, very, very good at it uh, as well. And somebody wants to know, Donna wants, or Patricia wants to know how much older than I am than my brother. I'm 18 months older. Yes. Yeah. I was a honeymoon baby. I uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am 18, my, 18 months older um, and 18 months wiser. Okay. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you think you had a, a strict or a uh, rather unrestricted... Uh, Childhood. Oh, uh, strict. Um, my mom, who you saw, lovely, petite lady. <laughs> I, we weren't really afraid of my mom. My mom, and now listen, my mom gets all the street cred because I'm a mom of three now. I get it. I understand. I am sorry. I think I've written my apologies. I've said my apologies. Um, but... 
my parents raised us to be out. We had a strict upbringing. We didn't disrespect. We didn't back talk. We never back talk. I don't, I don't remember with my dad ever, um, never taking a chance. We used to call my brother and I have one of these kids now, the peep child, the peep child, because my dad or my brother knew which button to push. And my dad would say, if I hear another peep out of you, and he'd go up the stairs, and my brother would be at the bottom of the stairs, and he'd go, beep. <laughs> it, was, it was... And I'd chase him up the stairs. Oh, my God. I used to look at my brother like, how, what, where? And my brother would, and I would fight so bad. I remember one time he was chasing me, and he it was either me or him who kicked the hole through the door with a hiking boot. And we used to hide everything. So it was like, Mom, I painted a pretty picture. And we put it like put it where the boot hole was. And um, But my dad would come home at 4.30. And my mom would go, you know, my dear dad gets home. And we'd like, oh, yeah. No, 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 boo, boo. We'd run around. It would just be chaos. And then we'd hear the truck pull up and the front door open. I'm like, oh, yeah, no. No for me? No, no, no. But I will say... Um, I raised my kids much the same. I'm not their friend. My parents always said, we're not your friend until I would say... We're your parents. Yeah, they. you were my parent. You were my parent. And now we're friends. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Say that. Did, we tr- did, did we treat you the same, you and Tim? No. You don't think so? No. <laughs> well... Okay. No. Run that uh, by me. I paved the way. Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. You did. And he—he he got. I think he got away with. He. Her. I. I paved the way and did right and good. And then by then, I think you were like, eh, the boundaries are a little stretched. <laughs> okay. I can. I can. <laughs> I can't believe you. I can. I can swallow that. <laughs> um, you know, you're probably right. I, I, I can't had, believe you're surprised by this. I, well, I got. I think I. I, I think I got a little uh, mellower. You have gotten weight like the grandkids. Oh my god! Could walk all over you, and it's, that I don't understand. I, it's our job to spoil them. You know. Yeah. I no, I think all. I remember you as being the strict, working disciplinarian. You were very. Um, you were very uh, regimented. You would work out regiment. You were, you you were a good example in all those ways. But back in that time, dads worked. Yeah, I worked took a care lot. of. Yeah, you worked a lot. You drove a lot. You took care of business. You were not gone a lot. You were always home. You but you were always doing something. Yeah. Uh, but you did like I would say, Dad. You know, do you want to go throw the ball? Yeah, do, Dad. Do you? You know. You would remember you'd pile us all in the back of the truck and drive us to the lake. Yeah. Yeah. See, we did do a lot of that. We would drive up north, but you were that way. But I will say definitely, like through high school, I towed the line. I'm sure Tim got way more away with way I, 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 I kind of have it. Who's interviewing here? I think you're right. I, I think I did was a little uh, slack on, slacked up on him. Uh, do you get? Did you get along with him? Or I know I didn't get along with him until. Um, I got along with him in college, but I still found myself in college wanting to take care of him. So we would go, we went to a party school. Hold on. Uh, Hey, I I think that's true. Um, And he would come to my dorm or I would go to his fraternity and I would just turn on mom. Like I would be drinking and having fun, but I'm like, oh, you're drinking too much. You're doing this. You're doing this. I can't stop being that way so I think he didn't like that um but the second I moved we graduated we became parents uh we probably are the best of friends yeah all I can remember is is <laughs> is kids uh he took your Barbie dolls and oh. he he would he would blow them up uh pop their legs off uh, yeah and they was... were always naked blow them up and I as a kid was meticulous I would get a toy I would take care of the toy. I would put the toy away. I would get an art set, keep the crayons, you know. And the second I would open the art set and he had like a school project, I would open the art set and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, somebody took the paper off of the crayon and the whole 
art set was crap to me. Like, Mom, you have to give him this. Like, he, he went, he you know that big it. pack of crayons you get with the sharpener? Um, <laughs> my Judy just said, party school. I'm so surprised. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and Sue just said, it's how the oldest girls are, which I hate that about myself because I like to let loose. But, yeah, I'm still to this day. He would go in there and just, like, take... Well, he'd... I, I remember he, he would play army and he'd disassemble everything. Know, yeah. And he, oh, they were, they were, you know. And I would keep everybody, like, I'd put them away in the Barbie doll case, lined up. I mean, I was crazy. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd go in there and the one crayon and he would, or one crayon missing. See, everybody's saying that big pack of crayons with a sharpener. But once one crayon was worn down, and the other joke we have about crayons in our family is my mom loves to shop. And she would take us to Hudson's. And if you're from the Midwest, it was like a Macy's and they had a restaurant. And so we'd meet with her sister and all my cousins and we would go. And they we would joke because we were the only kids with the four Crayola crayons, the yellow, uh, red, green, blue. <laughs> we would have 8,000 of them. <laughs> it was like, do you need a crayon? Here, I have the four colors for you. You're, you're laughing more than I am. Okay. Okay, grandparents. Mm -hmm. uh, you were very fortunate. You had uh, both sets of grandparents. Uh, what impact did they have on your life? Uh, I mean... Look, I'm emotional, so... <laughs> um, I had my dad's parents, and um, my grandma was kind of tough, kind of a hard nose. Yeah, she yeah, on my side. Yes. On my side. Yeah, yeah. And then my grandpa, this is what I remember about him. He would jingle the coins in his pocket. Yeah. He had a coin collection. We all inherited pieces of the coin collection. But he would jingle the coins in his pocket, and you'd always leave. I'd leave, and he'd hand me a coin. Sometimes they were like the big silver dollars, yeah. and I still have them. And he goes, um, if you, if you, how do you word it? If you always have this. You will never be broke. I will, I will never forget that. And he, he handed him off to my kids. And I and I heard him say, if you always have this, you're never broke. Um, Glenda just asked, did we ever go to the Hust Hudson's downtown? Very rare. My mom would not really venture down to downtown Detroit. She lived there. I'm sure she's gone there a million times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But when we were kids, we would go to the Hudson's in Novi. 12 Oaks. 12 Oaks, right? Uh, my other grandparents, um, I'm very fortunate that uh, they were from Malta. So I had another, I had a cultural difference. Um, they spoke Maltese. Um, they, both languages, but a lot of Maltese. We had a lot of Maltese they in our family. Maltese. They cooked Maltese. I loved uh, some of my favorite dishes. But my grandma would cook, my grandma would cook the best food in the world for 20 people and it would be like, here, everybody gets a sliver of steak. Because it was like, she didn't cook for an army. She cooked amazing. And it was like, um, she used to make things um, called pastitsis. Yeah. And she, they were the best thing in the whole wide world. But there'd be like four of them. So you're like, and, and you know how you have less? You want more? Yeah. Yeah. But she was also all of pre, probably four foot nine. Yeah. So she used to joke, and I'm so lucky. I have pictures with my grandma of my my daughter, my mom, my grandma, and I. So all the generations. And my grandma one day looked at myself, and she, and, she, and she said, "I'm so happy. Every generation gets taller." <laughs> She's like, "There's hope for us." <laughs> so, um, and my grandpa was. Um, he took us to the horse races, the dog races. He would pick a, a kid. Um, yes, he would pick a kid to gamble. <laughs> he would pick a kid to go with him to, or a couple of us. And every Saturday, we would go to my mom's side of the family. And um, the, we got to do lots of things with them. We, we'd go to Frankenmuth. We went to Disneyland. Yeah. They would travel a lot. So when my kids were younger... Um, it was important for me to take my parents everywhere. Now we don't do it as much because they're older, and I think older getting, and slower. I think getting you to Disneyland would be like. Nah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Maria said, "I have a silver dollar from the year of my birth, and I would." So I actually, all of us cousins inherited part of my grandfather's coin collection. 
um, which was kind of a cool thing. And mine is tucked away. Uh, it was kind of just a really cool thing to get from him because that's something I remember really vividly from him. And my grandma, my dad's side, I inherited her exact feet. Oh, and I inherited it. I inherited twins because she had twins. And I also inherited, oh, my son was born on her birthday. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I have a lot of wine zaffle traits. I have a ton of wine zaffle traits, and um, I actually have a lot of Maltese traits. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, too. I do. I do. Evenly distributed. I do, yeah. Everything is evenly All right, we're going to change the subject a little okay. bit. Okay. Uh, creativity. Uh, what does it mean to you? Everything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what has inspired you to be creative? You. Oh, well. Thank you. So my dad is a woodworker. I get asked a lot. My dad is, my dad is, um, there's not anything I've seen my dad try that he's not good at. Well, wow. Yeah. I really. I'm not joking. Um, so he is a woodworker. Um, he is uh, a construction knowledge. Uh, what I do in, um Oh, uh, excuse me. Back to the last question. Maria said, have I ever been to Malta? The answer is no. My cousin and my cousin's wife and I are planning, hopefully for 2020, to go to Malta. It's on all of our bucket lists. We'd like to go probably on a cruise and just visit Malta. But it's on our bucket list. I am. We really want to go. And that's something um, that we're really excited about. I just noticed, Dad, my zipper is down. Oh, wow. Yeah. We, sorry. Don't you don't need to. Sorry. You know, sorry. Okay. Stand. Sorry. Well, I, I keep it real. Okay. okay. So, um, my dad is super creative. Um, you taught me the the best. Here's the best thing my dad ever taught me. What is it? Right tool for the right job. Right tool for the right job. Um, this studio that I am sitting in. Um, is built by my dad and myself, our own two hands. And my dad was the one person who always said, um, uh, well, he had a couple of, he said a lot of things, but uh, oh. go to school, get an education. <laughs> Wait, somebody asked, where is Malta? It's a very small island off of Italy. Far, in fact, it, most Italians don't even know where it's located, but it's, it's in the middle look, of the Mediterranean. Middle of the Mediterranean. So if we do a cruise, it would be like Barcelona, Spain, Italy. Um, Greece and Malta. It's only about 125 miles wide. Yep. Very and everybody's small. everybody has the same last name and the same first name. So it's great. All right. All right. Does, so does it require any special talent to be creative? No. Um, I would say that everybody in some way, shape, or form has creativity. Even, I would say, even people who have jobs in... Um, uh, the dot com, any of those like technology, engineering, you have to be creative in order to think out of the box, to be good at what you're doing. And I would say that what is most impor per important is to find your purpose in your creativity. Um, it's I, I've kind of joggled around and worked for different companies and tried to figure out what was important to me. Um, and also to not compare myself like I see a lot of amazing art out there and I want to do it, but I can't, um, it's not my deal. It's not my thing. I, I can't, I'm not going to paint lions. I'm probably going to not paint faces because they look all weird. But I think we all have a bit of creativity. Some of us are a little bit more eclectic and live and dream it and do it. But I would say even in my nine to five job, which isn't really nine to five, um, I have to be creative and think out of the box. And I doodle while I'm on the phone. All right. All right. What's the biggest mistake you've ever made? <laughs> I know so everybody wants to hear that. Um, all right, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay, so my biggest mistake, it really isn't a mistake. I don't really... Um, if, yeah, I should, I know re I I should re rephrase that. I should, as, no, I think instead I should of be. mistake... Um, um, so I will say... Um, I, everybody knows I got married a second time, and for me, it wasn't so much the getting married and the mistake. Uh, I vetted. I did. What you, I'm a very trusting person. We're from the Midwest. I think for me, it's more so knowing that there are not great people out there. 
There are not you. Um, I di I would say I did the right things. I did what I was supposed to do, but I let the, the certain things into my family that um, could. Would I do it over again? Would I change it? And the answer is I don't know if I would. I don't think I would because I think when I stood back up, I stood back stronger thanks to this guy because I really didn't want to stand up. You learned from the mistake. I learned from, from the, the mistake. Mis and I misjudgment. Yeah, and it was just a part of my life. And I think it was somebody said the other I, I remember my girlfriend saying all of the things you do in life, they're like blips on the screen. It's like she's like, one day you'll look back as a blip on the screen. Yeah. So I would say for me, having a blip on the screen, and I have a couple, I mean, yeah. you know, but you know. I have a lot of blips. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, you oh, wait a second. <laughs> I don't want to know. I learned, I learned woodworking from mistakes. <laughs> oh, wait, do you still have, have all your fingers? <laughs> I, five, five, five fingers. <laughs> Yeah, I would um, say that that is probably something that I look back and I go, but I feel like now I can help people. I can talk to people. It's made me a better person. That's truthful. Yeah. Okay. Love, trust, God, country, family. How would you rate list those? Oh, okay. I'm going to uh, come back to that one. Okay. Love, trust, God, country, family. Well, I'm going to have to put... And I don't like, there's no right or wrong. And I would like, oh, excuse me. My dad asked a question for all. So you start typing out. Um, I'm going to have to say God, number one. Um, and just because I feel like I have a lot of faith and I feel like he handpicked me for my purpose. He handpicked the people in my life and he keeps doing it. I think all through my life, like he's put certain people there um, that uh, I hope Anne doesn't mind, but I'm going to read. Tracy, I was fooled by someone also, and now I stand stronger and live my best life. See, that's what I need to hear. Um, so I'm going to have to just go, God, because I feel like in certain times, certain places, he's always placed what's supposed to be there even though i didn't know it was supposed to be there or i thought i could control what's supposed to be there and um there's no controlling that um obviously my family i've always said my kids are my north stars my parents are my best friends um and my my friends my friends align i have friends that are like family i don't have family that live nearby so i'm really good about uh, having really great friends. Uh, mm. So then, Thanks to all of them. Too, yeah. Believe me. And then I just have to put love and trust for me bind together because if I don't trust, I don't love. Um, and now I'm much harder to trust. So you really got to earn it with me. Mm -hmm. um, and my country. I mean, my country's up there. But my yeah. country is... Yeah I, think, yeah, I think we all are. I also trusted people. Now I filter very carefully when I, even when I'm thinking of trusting. I'm very... I'm very cautious. Um, I'm still open-hearted, but um, Judy said my biggest mis mistake was not believing in myself. Oh my God, Judy, I don't even see that in you. But isn't that amazing? It's so true. Oh my God. Okay. Um, so I want to see you guys. There's always a delay in the comments, so they're okay. they're not slow. They're... Oh, I, oh, I understand. Oh, if, if it was up to me and I was typing, uh, you'd get uh, my response a half an hour from now. I, I mean, so, Dad, what are yours? All fingers. Now uh, you can put daughter, wife. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I could, probably rank. I yeah. Oh yeah, you're right up there, honey. <laughs> Okay, what are yours? Uh, I well, God obviously is yeah. is is, and it, you know, I I I'm along the same lines as you are, uh, you know, trust, love, uh, family is 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 that's it's that's everything to me. You, mm -hmm. you don't mess with family. That's my rule. It's um, we 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 will go nose to nose anybody that <laughs> okay can i give an example of this excuse me if brian nelson from um high school is watching this okay um so my dad he still has his head i he does still have his head but my dad here's what i remember about my dad and myself um 
I my mom goes, go with your dad to go pick up your brother from skiing. And so I was like, oh, yeah, because Brian Nelson is there and I really have a crush on him. And so I went and, you know, I look all cute and I walked out and he I'm walking out right toward him. And he he says, hey, something, something, something with the F-bomb. And um, out of the corner of my eye in my peripheral vision, that was literally like when I went like this, I could hear my dad going, don't you ever say the F word in front of my daughter. So I beelined it to the ski lodge and I turned around and there was a little fella hanging by his skis. <laughs> He never said anything disrespectful to me again. <laughs> I, I, in fact, the, the ski patrol came over. Yeah, absolutely. I was, I was literally going to take his head off. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. But, yeah, nobody ever messed with my dad again. <laughs> well, you know. Or me. I really became somebody who was probably undateable for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I really didn't mean that. So, uh, Kimberly said, my parents are my guardian angels now, and that is something to remember. Um, so, uh, which, by the way, we have many guardian angels in our family who watch out for us. Yes. We're very blessed. Yeah, we I, are. I, I, I can't thank God enough. Uh, for your daughter? For the, uh, my family. Uh, and, you know. Um, okay. okay. Uh, was uh, grade school and high school uh, fun for you? I want to have to go no. I hated it. I hated it. I, what, I thought you had, you were in band. You oh, Come on. Dad, I was in band. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dad, I wasn't the star of the softball team. I was in band. I was very musically inclined, and I now have a lot of, uh, which by the way, just this past week, my band director, who is the band director of our school for 33 years passed away and I listened to his services. So it did have a big impact on my life. Uh, but I had Coke bottle glasses. Thank oh, you, I Dad. did too. Thank you, Dad. I had braces. Uh, I had acne. Well, I had... Um, I had that. I also had uh, weird haircuts. Not my mom's fault because my mom is really fashionable, but I had like the female mullet, you know, uh, Heart. Look at this, <laughs> Denise. Is, I was in band. I was really good. I was really musical. Oh too. yeah, she was um, very good. Yes. Guess my instrument. Let's play. Guess my instruments. I yeah, played two instruments. She played two. Okay. Don't get. Don't give All it up. Right. Um, I'm going to say for me, elementary school was great because of Mrs. Golamatis, my first and third grade teacher, um, which is the reason I went to Michigan State, and she made me feel normal when all I was was had my nose in books. And yes, my first job was in a library, and I read through the whole library. Um, middle school is just a blip on the screen. I could care less about it. High school was okay, but um, it, was, it was okay. I really started to blossom in college. I think college was oh. like... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I, I think she did too. You really did. Especially when she called me and said, Oh, I, I, I fell off my loft, sprained my ankle. And I goes, Oh, yeah? I sprained my ankle. I All right. I had, wait a minute, hold on. People are guessing. Yes, I want you to guess. Okay. Yeah. French horn. I'm getting French horn guesses. Ooh. I had two French horn guesses. Wow. Oh, God, you guys. What I played. Oh, trumpet, violin, <laughs> Denise, my friend Denise, the kazoo. <laughs> Denise. <laughs> oh, my daughter's a director of a library. That would be my dream. Oh, my God. I want to be locked in a library all night long. Look at this. Judy said, I was in band and loved it. Flute. Okay. So. Bingo. <laughs> um, I love the band. I, I'm still friends with people from high school in the band. Um, I did play the flute and the piccolo. And I was in the Brighton High, high School Marching 200. And thank you, Mr. K. Rest in peace. You really were a great conductor to all of us. <laughs> Somebody said, but can as somebody of uh, the tuba, I was. <laughs> I know. I was waiting for somebody to say the tuba. I could hardly hold. I was really um, awkward, clumsy. Um, I also was forgetful. Do you remember when I played? You don't remember this. I played soccer because I had a, a a a crush on a boy. Now, now I just saw him on Facebook. He is like human. 
youngest and just turned 50. Because now you have to realize my graduating class is turning 50. God. And <laughs> Am I getting old or what? So anyway, he was huge. My first crush, like second crush, because you already killed Brian Nelson on that one. Mom dropped me off, and I was wearing a sweatsuit, and it was his dad was the coach. And this is this is the epitome of me. This is how I forget. You don't even know this. I know. I was so nervous about going to this first soccer game. I didn't play soccer well. I didn't really run well. And now I'm really doing all the things I wanted to do well and trying them again. And she's doing them well. Yeah. But um, we went to the game, and I told the coach, I forgot my jersey. And you can't play if you don't have a jersey. The poor coach left the field because you dropped me off and went off, and I forgot my jersey. He went off, had to drive home, and all the kids are like, oh, Tracy forgets her jersey. So then I go taking off my sweatshirt shirt to heck it to like warm up, and somebody goes, hey, you're wearing your jersey. That was me. Oh, my. <laughs> I just couldn't live that down. All right. Okay. <laughs> you mentioned, so the answer is no. You mentioned college. Was college uh, education uh, impact? What kind of impact did that have on you? And oh, did my you, God. Uh, so did college, you enjoy college? The glasses were gone. Oh. The braces were gone. All the kids who knew I forgot my, sw- uh, my uniform were gone. <laughs> um, in fact, the kids in high school, a lot of our kids, a lot of the kids in our graduating class went to Michigan State and were roommates and like, F. No. <laughs> I want nothing to do with you people. I don't want to look at you. In fact, if I pass you, I'm going to pretend I don't know you. I grew my hair out. <laughs> I know. I remember that. Um, and I... Um, so my dad uh, had a thing. And it was like... Uh, you know, I had many ideas of what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to join the circus. I wanted to uh, work in a library all my life. Um, and I am like an introverted person in an extroverted extroverted world. So a lot of what I wanted to do, my dad said, you can do anything after you get a good education. Sure. So that was my dad. It was like, and you're going to get something that you can get a job and fall back on. So that's what I remember. And how I ended up, I do have a degree in building construction management. And how I ended up, because my dad also used to say, if you get a C or below, you pay for the class. So, do you, are you surprised to remember all this? I know, I'm surprised, yeah, I am You're going to see your below, you're paying for it. So, I... It's kind of bringing things back. <laughs> so, A, I never wanted to fail. B, I had to find something I was good at. I always thought I wanted to be... Oh, oh, my acceptance letters came on like the same day for U of M and Michigan State. And my dad was like, oh, if you go to U of M, you can live at home. Michigan State it is. <laughs> And I'm, believe me, I'm glad she went to Michigan State because, man, Michigan is so, just another world. Yeah, man. so it was like literally my, it was just like, okay, I, I need to be away. And, and so, that's why I think I told you that. You wanted to live with me forever. <laughs> right. Sure. Just me with my kids right now. <laughs> Wait a minute, what are you smoking? Yeah, I know, seriously. <laughs> so I, um, my major, how I fell into it was, I wanted architecture. U of M had it. Michigan State didn't. I was in a calculus class, and it was like sitting in a foreign language. I went through the first, whatever, three weeks or two weeks that you can do it, and I was sitting there hyperventilating. It was like there was a guy speaking Japanese. I didn't understand a lick of it. I didn't know how it was feasible. And and my boys uh, all have a mind for calculus. I know. I have zero concept of how that works. I was that same way. It was just like sitting there and somebody was like, okay, we're going to start the lesson in Japanese. And they just rolled. And so I ended up thinking, what was the closest to um, uh, architecture? And it was building construction management. I walked into the office. I started talking to them. And they're like, first off, it involves being artistic. It involves numbers. And the lady go, the counselor said, why are you taking calculus? You don't need that. And I was like, What? I, my, my ears perked up. This is how I decided my major. Five minutes before you have to drop the class, before you would have had to pay for it, and I would have had an F, I ran all the way across the campus, and I dropped the class and declared building construction management as my major. Five minutes. It was my like, goodness. I was. Th- this was when I discovered I was really good at running. <laughs> In boots. I had these boots that I ran, and I ran... 
all the way across. And I, I said, I got to drop this glass. And then I remember calling you and I was like, Dad, I dropped calculus. And you were like, I don't think you should drop a class. And I'm like, Dad, if I don't drop it, I will shoot myself. And all of my classes after that were like amazing, estimated. Like I fit right. It was, And there were two girls in my graduating class. Yeah, so I, I had all that. guy friends. I had no BS. I had nothing that got in my way after that. But for me, college um, was the most amazing experience. And I did get an education that I could fall back on. So yeah, thank it's you. true. I did. And, and I have fallen work, back. She went to work out here immediately in the uh, uh, modular buildings. Yep, I did. I, I do construction and I love it. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she, I, but I, I'm I, telling you, if there was a land speed record... <sighs> I went back to my room that night and I said to my roommate, we are going to have a, I'm not taking calculus anymore party on a Monday. <laughs> Donna said, guy friends are the best. I had no BS in college. Nothing. I had no, I didn't, I had no girl drama. I had all guy friends. And well, yeah, I okay. really. Starting from scratch, what would you do differently? Mm, okay. <laughs> I want to say nothing. I would say nothing. Well, that's a good answer. But because that indicates you, you know what I would have done. You wanted to do. No, I would have probably made sure that my soccer jersey was <laughs> underneath that. <laughs> now when I get ready, I always make sure that what I am getting ready for is actually like I'm cognizant of it. You never knew that, did you? No, I, I did not. <laughs> I had no clue yeah, that you um, had to write things down to re remember them. <laughs> I have to do that now, though. And, of yeah. course, uh, Mom always tells me, write yeah. it down. Write it down. No, I would have, um, I don't think, I think that's led to who I am as just a person. And I think it's led to me, um, it's led to me having a sense of humor. Like, I probably should have thrown back at those kids. Well, I did that on purpose. <laughs> but at that moment when I was like, holy crap, where did that come from? <laughs> um, you know, would I get married the second time? Probably not. Oh, yeah, that was... Uh, no. But, well, um, you know... Bigger, better, stronger. That's true. Bigger, better, stronger. Yeah. 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 So... Would right. you, is there anything you would switch up in your life? Um, let me think. You'd probably uh, stop after one kid. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's laughing when he does the inside. No, actually, I can honestly say I lived at a, in a great, great time. Uh, uh, you know. Um, you married up. I, 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 high school and, and, and grade school were the worst Absolutely worst times in my life. Coke bottle glasses. Oh, I had half inch <laughs> thick glasses. I, you know, and it's, I mean, I don't wear glasses at all now. I mean, we both had so, surgery. Yeah, I had, uh, in fact, I got, uh, what is it, monolithic. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, they don't care about the people. Yeah, no, they don't care. Uh, are you guys enjoying this, or are we just still sitting yeah, we're here? Just, Give we're us a kind of boring you all to death, <laughs> and her attendance is going to really sink now that I'm been on this show. I I hope not, but hey, I, I'll just have so, to I'll just have to swallow another. Yeah. I need oh a wait, oh, sorry. here you go. Sorry, your bartender is rolling. Yeah, I know slow. she's. Uh, she's <laughs> You're getting thumbs up. <laughs> but but um, oh. No, I, I, I lived in a time, you know, uh, when... Uh, the Model T came out? Well, the, the, <laughs> the technology and the pressure on, on, uh, on, on kids these days, um, yeah. it's, just, it's just moving so fast. So I got a question for you, and you're, you're pretty technologically advanced. I am? Wow. Um, would you want to raise your kids in this time? Hold on a second. When she said I'm techni technologically advanced, <laughs> I just got an iPhone. Oh, he did. Oh my, oh God. my God! I, I had a flip phone for until just before we came here, 
And I know I know how to turn he it on. He sent me his first text, and it was like, did you get my itinerary with a little plane emoji? And I'm like, I did. Who is this? <laughs> I'm serious. A phone is a phone to make a phone call, uh, although I, the technology is wonderful. Um, and what was your question Would you again? like to raise kids in this time period? Um, mm, I would say uh, it, it's a lot a greater challenge, just a lot more hard, you know, a lot more difficult. Uh, yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm glad They're we, legalizing everything. They're yeah. stuck to this. Yeah. And then the discipline and the... And the, the respect. The, the respect and taking and being responsible for your actions is almost non-existent mm -hmm. now. You, you know, I, I grew up in a time when... Uh, man, if you did if you did something wrong, it, you know, hold on to your shorts. Yeah, uh, it, it would you you were going to pay for it. Or in my case, hold on to your sack of jersey. <laughs> <laughs> so but, we are getting feedback. People are saying, "I love it." Ching ching. Okay, love this, Tracy. You are lucky to have him. I am lucky to have both my parents. But yeah, I am really lucky. Thank you so much, um, Judy. The good news is flip phones are coming back. Judy, oh. don't tell him that because... <laughs> well, they, well, that's good because you I, should see him. I kept mine. <laughs> so my dad has like woodworker hands, like with hardly any fingerprints. So if he decides to have a crime... But you should see him like trying to turn the thing on. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Yeah, um, Trisha said, I would not like to raise kids now. Oh, I, I'm it's gonna, so I, hard. So I'm on the cusp of, well, 18, 18, and 22. Yeah. And I see, I am now acting... I was the one... I was a parent, even it wasn't popular in my time, that the kids would go to the restaurant and sit in the high chair and they would be strapped in. And I had a philosophy, the safety belts were, were not for their safety. It was to keep them restrained. <laughs> it was to keep them in. Yeah. My kids weren't allowed to get up off the table uh, and run around, even when other kids uh, were doing that. And yeah. I wasn't very popular. And I've gone through a couple of rough teenage years where yeah. I'm not very popular. Yeah. But... Uh, that you're a parent, not a uh, best friend. Yeah, and once they hear about this whole not wearing the soccer jersey thing, I am screwed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so Judy wants to know, do I woodwork? Uh, so I don't really woodwork. I don't do anything. Um, my dad has just the most amazing like workspace and... Um, I have been lucky to grow up in the age of construction and knowing a lot of construction stuff and estimating and all that. Um, but this year I took on wine barrels. Um, so if you saw, there's a video of me cutting wine barrels and doing it. Yes, I did it. But there is, a, listen, I have a philosophy about women. I, I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. Um, I believe in equal rights. I believe in everything. I believe in women wanting to go to war, women wanting to do the SEAL team. I have a construction degree, but go fight the war. But men with power tools and the muscle they have behind it, it cuts everything in time. Yeah. In oh, yeah. So I do have a friend who helped me out. The first wine barrel I did on my own. And um, I couldn't be paid enough money for my labor because it's so labor intensive. Um, I want to do the creative side of it. I want to paint it. I don't want to do all the other stuff. So I have friends who will do it for me, and and um, I don't have that enjoyment. Um, I don't get the same enjoyment out of that labor as somebody who has the skills, the knowledge, and the tools. Yeah. Um, you need, you need so for all the women who are fighting in the war, amen, hallelujah, you go for it. But uh, no, I don't want to do it. But, okay. Yeah. My 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 like I said, my time for growing up was was really ideal for me only because I uh you know, it was they had the Vietnam uh, thing going on and I was in the service and uh I got out uh, a month before a involuntary extension. So I kind of uh avoided Ooh, that would have changed the course of your yeah, life. Yeah, that would have changed things. Uh I was in during the Cuban crisis, and we were on, you know, twelve-hour, uh, twelve-hour alerts in the patrol squadron that I was in, and and so. And military was big in our family. Oh yeah. Mel yeah, and I was married military mm -hmm. on a Navy base, no less. Yeah, so I was it very. We are very country. Six years Navy. My brother is a retired service. 
Lieutenant Commander. And yeah. So. Yeah. So, and my ex-husband, my kids were all born military hospital, um, all Navy. We're all, well, we're not all. Yeah, we are no, all, we Navy. Are all Navy. Yeah, we are all Navy. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm going to read some of the comments. And my dad has one more question, I think. And then, because I see one more question. Actually, no, we have two more questions because you didn't ask me about that. Well, and then you guys are free. We'll end by six thirty. You guys are free. Oh, Judy said thank you for your service. Oh, you're more than welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, you, ha- you do have to be strong for power tools. Not that I'm not strong. Listen, but I do have this philosophy about men and women, and I I do feel that as women we have tended well, Gloria Steinem. We have. Demasculated men a little bit. We're like well, we can I'm do all, everything. I'm all on board for equal pay for. I I get that all. I get that all. But at some point, I think we're taking a little bit out of the men, where they just can't be men anymore, and open the door and all that other good stuff. That's Listen, true. Listen, I can open my own door. I, I just would like and, my and door mom, open. And mom tells me the same thing, even though I I was. She can I open say, it. We know how to open I it. I know it, but I. I and I try like to teach the, my boys open the door. It's like yeah, these small gestures. It's a small, exactly. But yeah. Oh, then this it. leads into the next thing. Yeah, it does kind of. Uh, what's what are some of the most important things that uh, your mom and I have uh, instilled in you? Uh, creativity. Uh, Mom, OCD. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if she's going to want to hear that. (laughs) Um, We are a very organized bunch. You are organized too, though. We're finishers. We are. are. uh, We're finishers. If we start a job, we finish a job. Tim's not. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Tim. Yeah, and my my brother is just he's a visionary. He does all this other, but I am like it. But it also stagnates me. If I don't finish, yeah. I stop. And there are people who can carry on. So um, there's something. Um, well, that's why I'm here. I'm on board to finish. <laughs> yeah. Let me now, it, Tim's like that. Tim's, yeah. he, he'll do 95% of it. And then you but do that the last five. piece of molding uh, or that, that last uh, piece of uh, drip edge or whatever... He won't put up, and I come along. Well, the good news is we all have daddy do lists, so it's like when he shows up, I'm like, oh, I kind of need this done. Yeah. Uh, Oh, we can finish a bottle, too. We did. Absolutely. We did. Well, we did. Don't look at me. Okay. (laughs) Um, So I would say what you instilled in me is when you do something, do it well. Yeah. And when you do something, train yourself and do it to finish it. Don't do it just for the hell of it. Like I, I am a, I, I'm a goal-oriented girl. You want to put set your, a you goal. Want to, you want to be able to put your name on it and say I did it. Yeah, and, and that is me. That's in everything I do. Uh, drink a bottle of wine, finish it. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, and we are a competitive family. <clears throat> and I grew up that way. So it was kind of like always, you know, I, I, like uh, my dad, you know, I would be like, hey, dad, do you want to play pool? And all of a sudden it was like color of money came out. I'm like, what? Do you, what <laughs> when do you play pool? And how is that? Um, yes. So um, Linda said your dad is wonderful. You are fortunate. Have a Merry Christmas and enjoy being with your family. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Thank yeah, you so and much. we're going to close it out because we have about six minutes peace love and joy mm-hmm. to everyone yeah Please. and um if there's any questions we're just going to hang here for a couple of minutes my dad's last question was money do you feel you're good at handling a money and where did you learn the value um i am good at handling money. Is. i am this you know what and i tell all my friends um, I, I have you know lots of friends who have gotten divorces and and for those of you who have had a divorce, going through a divorce, uh, it's not the end of the world. You can come out on top. You can come out. I have good credit. Knock on wood. I got to knock on wood. Um, no, you don't. Yeah. Well, I do kind of. Okay. Yeah. And rainy day money. My dad always taught me rainy day money. Reserve. Reserve money. Reserve. Always have money reserve. So that side gig I have of pole dancing is paying off tenfold. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yes. Can I get lessons? Yeah, right, Dad. Dad, I'm so clumsy. Could you see me? <laughs> yeah, well, can you see me? I, no, listen, I cannot. <laughs> I go down. I, I go down on my knees, and, and they got to call 911 to pick me up. I cannot listen to this. 
<laughs> okay, so everybody is closing out with Merry Christmas, my friend. Merry Peace, Christmas. love, and joy right back at you both. This was a wonderful thing. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, and thank you for sharing with us, you guys. Thank you so much. It has been amazing. And um, we're closing out the year next Monday. I'm back here Monday live. And um, I hope your attendance doesn't sink. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. I know what we're doing, kind of, but I might get him involved because he's still here. Um, uh oh, oh <laughs> and Mickey had to run to work and wants to know if anybody wants yogurt. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you want Maybe yogurt? I will. <laughs> Cheers, guys. We're going to go play some family games. I bought two new family games we're going to try tonight with the kids. Uh, one is, is going to be funny. <laughs> You guys, Merry Christmas, and thank you. I'm here next Monday, and I'm probably going to get him involved a little bit. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to join us. But I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this concept because um, there's going to be more interviews, not him. <laughs> no, yeah, please. I, I, this is a lot of pressure on me. So Wes just said <laughs> fun times in his striped underwear. <laughs> well, no, he didn't say that part. He said fun times. You go. You go, guy. <laughs> oh, my God. Wes, Dina, come over and play Wes, games with us. Yeah, Wes and Dina. Come over and do. play games. Denise, come over and play games. You guys can all come over and play games, but I don't know about the flight. We yeah, are gonna, I'll, I'll just pick up a couple more bottles of wine. Yeah, we already have wine. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for even remotely being an int interested in what we were going to do tonight. All right. Yes, I enjoyed appreciate you, both. you all showing up. Marilyn said, I enjoyed you both. Thanks for everything. Oh, she also said, Tracy, you're particularly fun and entertaining. She didn't say that last part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And by the way, when my dad leans over and he's silently laughing, that's his laugh. <laughs> yep, see. And when he starts, his nose starts running. Yeah, then you okay. really got me going. <laughs> hey, I love you, Dad. Thank you, dear. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Goodbye, guys. This will Bye, be available uh, live for the replay. Stay safe, everyone. Please yes. stay safe for the holidays. Goodbye.